Today's episode is once again a mixed bag. We will do some work in the uh, sorter, figuring out the decorations over there. Then there are is some pulse work that's uh, needed to be done since uh, early on. And uh, we will do uh, decorations and uh, uh, towards the end uh, I will show you how to do this table using armor stands uh, uh, for for the uh, for holding up the tabletop. Something I have not seen anywhere, so I am uh, excited that I can present this uh, here. So uh, if you're interested, stick with me till the end. But now let's get started. Hello, boys and girls, my name is Otsus and welcome back to another day in Minecraft. And today we will tackle a few projects, among them uh, the uh, interior and exterior decoration and the uh, house down there. I'm very excited about it. And then uh, uh, also a long standing project uh, over here. Uh, where the uh, path is just cut into the uh, the cliff face looks a bit odd. I have an idea, but as it does not work on a on a diagonal, uh, some terraforming is in order, and we will also uh, work a bit more on the uh, sorter down there. But uh, let's start with uh, with this path here. And I think uh, first thing um, is a bit of a time lapse. So let's roll it. Let's first outline the new hillside with dirt walls to be replaced soon. I decided to go with timbering, which is quite common here around, and is a nice alternative to various kinds of stone walls. The gaps between the beams look a bit empty, but I want to fix that with some armor stand magic. But you don't want to watch me bumbling around, so here is the result. You did well not watching me figuring out armor stands. I thought 128 would be plenty, but I ended up using about 300. There is a light glitch for items that are further back. I think that is because the block the armor stand is standing in is not properly illuminated. Nevertheless, I think it turned out great. In the meantime, I have also figured out wall decorations for down here, uh, so well as uh, roof and lighting. So let's see it. And there it is. The walls and roofs are now complete and frankly I was not entirely uh, honest. Uh, I figured out how to do this uh, middle parts of the roof and this, uh, this crossing. But I did not really think about this uh, back part here or um, how to do uh, uh, this section over here, but uh, a bit of improvisation uh, uh, turned out uh, great. And as you can see, uh, it's lit up a little bit, but uh, you still have those uh, uh, dark and gloomy spots, which uh, turns out nice. And then here on the walls I uh, used uh, uh, smokers as uh, uh, kind of uh, pillow structures and then these uh, uh, stairs in, uh, in different variations. And if you look straight at it you do not really uh, uh, see that it's it's actually stairs, but as soon as you come at it uh, from an angle, you can see it. And the different variation here um, also helps a bit to uh, to make the uh, walls not look uh, that flat. 
and then of course over here we have our way uh, uh, up and down which is still unchanged here we have a door that uh, only goes down to the uh, uh, bamboo uh, bamboo farm and the uh, the uh, smelter and over here we have an exit to the back side which is still plain and probably will remain so and we still have uh, our way up here on the on the roof which is for maintenance here and uh, everything is uh, lit up so uh, nothing save uh, uh, slimes should be able to spawn up here and also uh, uh, this area over here is all lit up so we don't have um, any mobs here but now this is almost uh, finished what remains to do is basically uh, improve this uh, this middle bit uh, uh, get rid of uh, all these uh, chests here because um, if items drop in uh, they would collect in these chests uh, first before they uh, go further and these are not accessible uh, from down below. So I was thinking bringing everything down to uh, to a lower level so uh, there is less uh, wasted uh, uh, space or storage uh, involved. But for the for the last part of this episode, it's finally time to uh, have a look at the uh, interior of the uh, of the house, and as promised, a little bit of uh, of a bonus uh, in there as well. So let's head over there. After all this underground work, let's take a deep breath and then I will show you the uh, interior of uh, our house. So, breathe in and exhale. <sighs> okay, here we go. So, first room here is the bedroom. Uh, with a bit of uh, a quartz pillar or quartz stair uh, uh, headrest to enlarge the uh, bed a bit. Uh, then uh, I made use of uh, uh, beehives here. I uh, think they look quite nice. Also have a, a nice little desk in here with uh, some potted plants, some paintings. Then here are some railings so that you don't fall uh, down uh, the stairs and break your neck. And then over here uh, I have uh, an armory uh, with uh, some doors. And once again uh, beehives and uh, here even a drawer that's uh, pulled out. And uh, well nothing really uh, too exciting then let's go downstairs to the living room and here we have a nice plush carpet out of uh, a dead coral fence with uh, gravel blocks uh, beneath we have a grandfather clock a bit of greenery in here and there a nice cozy uh, uh, fireplace and then we have a dark leather couch with some uh, red cushions which are basically uh, um, uh, banners one below and then the uh, stairs uh, are uh, put in uh, in place afterwards and a bit of uh, uh, new lamp design uh, which is more modern than uh, 
you would maybe expect in a in a house like this but it was either something like that or uh, uh, I would have really uh, trouble with lighting uh, this room up then here similar problem uh, getting uh, this uh, uh, corridor lit up properly I went with this uh, double end rod solution here and then we come to the dining room a uh, pretty simple table uh, here with fences and uh, trapdoors on top um, slapped uh, seats with uh, door as the back and here in the corner we have a bookcase uh, with some looms uh, uh, put in for good measures so the sides or the back of uh, the looms uh, really go go well together with the uh, with the uh, bookcases then here we have this uh, this divider and uh, we go into uh, the kitchen um, where we have some uh, uh, drawers and uh, a cooking stove and um, some more panels and uh, I forgot the uh, the draft uh, here I will add that later on and here we have um, the fridge in the corner not functional of course but uh, it's just for looks and then out here we have a nice barbecue pit and over here I have a bit of uh, uh, space uh, reserved uh, because as promised at the beginning we want to have an outdoor table and uh, I will show you how to do this with, uh, with armor stands because this is something that I have never come across anywhere um, there are various uh, uh, um, variations how you can do a table um, but I never saw design employing armor stands so let's get the uh, material together and then I will show you so with armor stands there are two ways I know of how to achieve this one would be uh, through the uh, uh, armor stamp book, uh, similar like uh, I did over there for the uh, timbering to get the plant life in there. Uh, but as you might not uh, have that uh, data pack available um, on your world, here is uh, the alternative way. And basically, we want to uh, to uh, uh, place the armor stand here in the middle, and we can achieve this by pushing it around with uh, pistons. Um, something like uh, this. That should do it. And then here as well. Why did not why did that not work? Oh, because push limit, but um, we can move it here very nice so let's fill in these gaps and then we also need to uh, um, uh, fill these gaps uh, uh, here without moving the uh, armor stand around and um, so let's first remove uh, the walls and as you can see 
I cannot place the blocks down here so let's go up one block cannot place it here but I can place it uh, here so um, and if we then have uh, downward facing piston here downward facing that would work better um, and then gradually um, push the block down Did my piston go? I need that. And if we remove these, we have our armor stand pretty much where we want it. So let's do the same thing for the other side. Now with the table top, it's a similar story as with the grass. And there is uh, uh, one question uh, that you need to answer first. Uh, do you want a tabletop that's uh, basically um, at the bottom of a full block? Or do you want to have it at the top of the uh, lower block? And uh, basically this variant allows you to place things on the table while this just gives you a bigger or a higher table. And I want to go with this one, but as you can see here we have the, the, the same problem. Um, what uh, I can do, um, here I need the uh, X actually trapdoor action. Um, what I can do actually is uh, um, place them uh, on here and then do the same trick again um, with uh, uh, pushing it down with uh, pistons. So let's put those in, uh, in place and then I can push them all down nicely. And this is the final product, uh, how it looks in the end. Down here we have the armor stands holding up the table. On top of the table we have uh, some chores, some flower pots, so uh, we can actually place stuff on this table. We have chairs in place, so everything nice and dandy. And with that, we are at the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I had tremendous fun putting all this together. Even so, at the times it was quite a bit of uh, of work, more than I expected, but uh, it's it's all it's all good. So hope to see you soon in the next episode, and until then, goodbye.